Hello, and welcome to another edition of Good Deeds. It's brought to you by JustServe.org. There are so many organizations here in the Sacramento area that are doing amazing things, helping people and making this a better, stronger community, and you can be a part of it. Find an organization to connect with and volunteer your time through JustServe.org. With me today is Ostap Dezintra, and he is a part of Build and Restore international here locally and around the world they are building and restoring things like churches orphanages schools thank you for being on good deeds and thank you for the work that you're doing yes thank you cheryl thank you for having me oh i absolutely i'm excited to learn more about what you're doing there is such a need for this uh what are some of these projects that you take on if you can kind of give us an overview of uh when your group gets involved with one of these projects what does that look like you know, we desire to help the youth and young at heart to be involved in our communities. And so we have practical life skills that we can learn together as we paint, as we fix, as we change out the flooring, as we update the facilities, whether we're downtown or Carmichael or Citrus Heights and beyond. You know, we have projects up in the mountains near Lake Tahoe and in different areas where simple people can come together and make extraordinary projects with you know us working with our hands and our feet that's awesome so if i as someone who would like to learn a skill like uh maybe flooring <laughs> let's say i want to someday replace flooring could i actually learn this through volunteering with build and restore yeah you'd join us on a week-long project and we would take you step by step and we would work on a project together and have hands-on training and uh, you would know from beginning to end what it takes to install a floor, to paint a room, to change out fixtures, whatever it takes. That sounds fantastic and, and something that I would definitely be interested in. And in the process, you're helping people that really need it. How do these projects come to your attention? You know, on our website, buildandrestore.org, folks come in and they sign up and they register to volunteer but others also come in and they sign up for a project. And so they share with us their need. They share what's going on in their community and how we can be a part of you know, helping them. And as we help them, they can also help others, whether it's a school or a church or a camp or an orphanage. We gather the volunteers to come together and make an impact. There must be some projects here locally in the Sacramento area that you're very proud of being a part of. What are some of those projects? You know, we've done a variety of different projects downtown where we spend time with the homeless community. We spend time repairing buildings that are shelter and refugee homes for uh, the abused, for those that uh, are transitioning. And um, we worked with some of the local churches in the area to help also with shelter and clothing and feeding programs. And we've renovated their buildings, their kitchens to help them do more in our communities. So what are some of the local projects that you've got coming up in the next couple of months that people could get involved with? You know, we have a variety of things that happen throughout the year. Like for example, if a fence blows over at a local church and they're strapped for, you know, volunteers to, to help, we get a call and we mobilize a team to go and help put up a fence for a church. Or when there's natural disasters that happen, when there's, you know, wars going on, for example, helping to collect supplies, medical supplies and flashlights for the efforts in Ukraine with the unrest there. Um, various projects like that that people can get involved. Yeah. Well, and, and specifically the effort to help those that are affected by the war in Ukraine, which is ongoing with your organization, um, since folks you can't hop a plane to Ukraine to be on the ground helping people, how could they best help out from here? You know, we've been collecting donations for medical supplies, for uh, baby formula, baby diapers, different things that people could contribute. And then we package those items in boxes and have them shipped over. And it's been a tremendous response uh, from, from Ukraine. Yes. Well, once again, for more information, folks can go to your website, buildandrestore.org. And uh, I thank you once again so much for being on Good Deeds. And thank you for the work that you're doing. Thank you, Cheryl, for having me.